warfare returned to the Libyan capital Tripoli on Saturday as armed groups clashed in areas that are densely populated. Throughout the day, emergency services scrambled to evacuate civilians. As calm returned Saturday evening, a video broadcast on a local television station showed the Tripoli-based Prime Minister, Abdul Hamid Dbeba, apparently congratulating forces that took part in the hostilities. The aggression today was carried out from the inside and the outside. It was all planned. Today you proved yourselves to be men, truly. Libya has experienced months of political deadlock as Dbeba spars with another politician, Fatih Bashara, who was appointed by parliament earlier this year in a bid to replace him. Bashara has already attempted to enter Tripoli once, but was rebutted by armed groups that support his rival. That was in May. Amid the violence on Saturday, local outlets reported that forces aligned with Bashara had tried to advance towards Tripoli from several directions. Saturday's clashes had initially started between two militias in the capital and were seemingly unrelated to the broader political power struggle. But other groups were apparently soon drawn in. The clashes damaged civilian homes and government buildings, including several hospitals. Dbeba's critics say his mandate has expired. Libyans were due to go to the polls in December 2021, but the process was abandoned amid disputes over the vote.